your mind, just like pops into your head yeah. when I say relationship? I think of the of people in my life that I feel very close to that are very important to me, that uh, whose lives affect mine and intersect with mine in lots of ways and are just important to me generally. Okay. What comes to your mind when I say vulnerability? Um, a feeling of being lost, scared, uh, not, not knowing what to do, or, or feeling that you're doing the wrong thing, that you're, that you're somehow you're out on a limb, that you're, that you're not with other people. What is an important relationship in your life, and why? One of my most important relationships is with my wife, Kathy, and uh, because when I met her, I wasn't expecting to meet anybody. I wasn't expecting to have a life partner, so she's been just an enormous, wonderful support to me for all these years. It's 26 years we've been married now, and just, it's been an enormous asset in my life. When is the time you felt vulnerable? Um, I felt vulnerable um, when I was in a situation where I, I was sort of different from other kids in lots of ways, and so and there were many kind of situations where they would get enthusiastic about something, and I, I, would, I just didn't feel that, so I would felt out on a limb again, like I was kind of alone, so that was, that was a difficult time for me. Is there a Bible or faith story that relationships and vulnerability remind you of? Um, I guess I'm thinking of the pay, uh, the parable of the prodigal son, the relationship between both the father and the older son and the father and the younger son, and even between the sons change a lot in the course of the story. You know, thing, you know, I think really deepens all of them in the process. Well, that's all. All right. Thank, thank you. you.